welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amina Taqi and I am an associate nutritionist. What we're going to be doing in the next few episodes of the next few weeks is I will help you um, to make the right decisions in order to improve your health and to make right choices about your food. When we are exposed to a lot of information about health and about food, sometimes we're left confused. We don't know what is the right thing to do and what are the uh, different choices that we can all make that will help to improve our health. And this is what we will be covering over the next few episodes. Today's topic is all about how to achieve a balanced meal. This is very important for us when we break our fast as what we eat will fuel us not only for that time but also the next day. But how do we achieve a balanced meal and why is it important? Well, a balanced meal will give us all the nutrients that will help us to be able to function better. All foods belong to a certain food group and all those food groups provide our body with different nutrients. So the main food groups and the main nutrients that we get um, are what we call macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are things like proteins, carbohydrates and fats. Micronutrients are things like vitamins and minerals. A combination of all of those different foods uh, is what is going to help you um, improve your health and give your body the building blocks that it requires to be able to function well. So the first uh, food group that we'll be talking about today is proteins. And we said proteins are a macronutrient, and that's because they break down into amino acids in, in the body. These amino acids are then used to build things like muscles, tissues. They're used for um, making things like hormones, enzymes, and also uh, they're used to help our body function well. And that's why we need a source of protein in our diet. What are the main sources of, of proteins in our diets? It's things like meat, chicken, fish, egg, or if you are vegetarian or vegan, it's things like beans, nuts, legumes, lentils, all of those are a source of protein and that's why it's very important to make sure that you have them as part of your, uh, when you break your fast or part of your suhoor meal um, before you start your fast. The other macronutrient is uh, fats and the carbohydrates. And for the micronutrients is things like vitamins and minerals, which we mostly get from things like fruits and vegetables and milk and dairy. Now, for the fruits and vegetables, um, it's very important for us to get those fruits and vegetables in our diets because they give us things like antioxidants, fiber, vitamins and minerals that help our body to function well. If we don't have those in our diet regularly, um, our body will not be able to function well. It could increase things like um, health conditions in the long run if we don't get those. And that's why it's very important for us to get those fruits and vegetables as part of our afar or as part of our suhoor and a combination of both is what will work best. Um, there are many different sources of fruits and vegetables available. Typical sources of fruits are things like apples, bananas, berries, um, different types of vegetables are things like broccoli, mushroom, cucumber. And you can use and become creative um, with how you make your food and how you use those fruits and vegetables, but always try to include them because in the UK, we don't consume enough of those uh, um, fruits and vegetables. The other food group uh, that will also provide our body with other vitamins and minerals are things like milk and dairy. Milk and dairy, um, as a food group, um, the main uh, function of it is to provide, yourself, uh, provide your body with calcium. Calcium is an important mineral for our bones to be able to function well. And again, if we don't have the, if we don't have a source of milk and dairy in our diets, most likely um, our bones and our bone health will not be uh, as good as recommended. Now, calcium is important at each stage of life, not just when we're children. That's what we always associate calcium and milk with, but it's important for each stage of life. What are some examples of milk and dairy? Well, it's milk and um, milk can come in any shape or form. So things like all um, skimmed milk, semi-skimmed milk, whole milk, or if you go for plant-based milks, so that's things like um, soya milk, almond milk, 
But if you are going for those, make sure that the ones um, fortified with the calcium so that they've got the calcium added to it. Um, other um, dairy products include things like yogurt and cheese. Those also provide your body with a source of calcium. Well, that's it for today's uh, episode. Join us next time as we discuss how, uh, the other food groups that, could, that have to be part of a balanced meal. And um, I hope you're able now to make better choices and choose the right foods when it comes to uh, when you break your fast or when you start your um, suhoor in the morning. Thank you for joining us and ma'asalama. Thank you.